Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel and it's really really great to be back. So a lot of my subscribers have wished me amazing messages and amazing messages of support and sort of hoping that I was okay and that really kind of almost show me that kind of that it's difficult. It's really difficult. I've before I took my break, I got to kind of a time of my life where I was finding that everything was just getting a little bit too much. I was finding that the anniversary of the loss of my nan, who means absolutely everything to me, um, with one year was coming up. Um, I was finding work was just getting all too much. I was finding just general life was just getting a little bit all too much. Um, that kind of always striving for what you want in life. But just that message to feel successful or for that sort of that notion to feel that actually you're doing you're doing OK as much as I've got a great support network. And as much as my parents, bless them, are always telling me that I am, I really wasn't feeling it. I really was just not feeling it. And and with coming up to the loss of my nan on the 31st of May, which was a year and then my nan's birthday on the 5th of June, I was really and it was, to be honest, it was all stem, stemming around Nan. Every day, I'll be honest, I want her back. Every day, I find it difficult that she's not here. Now, that may make me greedy. That may make me whatever. Um, and I know it does, because I'm very, very grateful for the long life my Nan had. And when you hear of so many horrific stories that y young people um, have lost their life and all of that's been snatched away from them and sometimes in the most horrific circumstances, in fact all circumstances horrific, whether that be through health issues or whether that be through something absolutely tragic and heartbreaking happening. So my heart really does go out to those individuals. I think when anybody passes away it's, it's really tough but when they are so much of your life in your centre soul it's really difficult. So I was finding and still am finding that difficult. Um, but I needed to kind of take some time to kind of re kind of evaluate the perspective of life, I think. And um, I needed to spend some time um, just enjoying the right now, not necessarily thinking about what I was going to what I was going to put on the channel, what product I was going to review, what message, what sort of motivation I was going to talk about. Um, so it's really done me good. It's been nearly five weeks since I come off of YouTube. Now that's a very short time. I absolutely understand. So I'm still having, I'm still having problems. I have been blessed. I've done some traveling. Hopefully you can see from the color, but um, I have taken some time out. I have been to Cyprus with my mum, my dad and my brother. Um, and I went there for a couple of weeks and then I came back for a couple of days. And then I said to my mum, I really didn't want to be around for the Jubilee um, here in the UK, being that it was right on my nan's birthday on the 5th of June, which I was so, so looking forward to for a couple of years. It was going to be incredible. It was going to be nan's birthday. It was going to be, I lost my night 95. So it's going to be her 96th birthday. I wanted to do something. And I know when people hear that age, you think, wow, what a long life. And it absolutely was. And I'm so blessed and I'm so privileged. And I feel so, so, so blessed that she had such a long life. But in, in my eyes and in my heart, it was still far too soon. Um, and I know that seems really awful and really selfish. And forgive me for that. I know it does. Um, and, and, and I know it doesn't, I feel awful saying that because of everybody else and, and the horrific stories of, of young people and through younger people and of what they've been through. And I feel awful saying that, but my, my name was everything to me. She was, so it's, it's really tough and you can probably tell it's still really tough. So I didn't want to be around for the 5th of June at all. So I said to my mum, both we're both here and I know the whole family is, but my mum and my nan are everything to me. My my parents, my mum and my dad are an absolute blessing in my life. And it, kind of the parent table in my life was my, my incredible mum, my incredible dad and my incredible nan. And I've got amazing brothers and sister-in-law and nieces and nephews and and and, and yeah, it, and it's really, really great. But I, I said to my mum, look, I really can't do this. I don't want to do this. Um, and my mum's the best friend of mine. My nan is my dad. And um, but this time I'd done this with my mum. And me and my mum went to Lanzarote and do you know what we had a week and we done something really, really special on my nan's birthday. My nan loved markets and things and looking through all different sort of unusual things in traditional markets and one thing or another. So we done that in on Lanzarote in the 
inland of Tegiz, and we'd done their market there. And do you know what? It just made me smile. It really did. It was almost like the man was with me the whole day, with us the whole day. Um, and you know, it's difficult sometimes because my nan never really aged at all. Um, of course, her health did. So that was the only thing really what aged. Nan never, never ever did. Um, even at that age, and you may think that's crazy, but she didn't. She really didn't. You'd think she was a much, much, much younger lady and very, very glamorous. And um, I always said my nan was a film star. And honestly, my mum is the same. And sometimes when I look at my mum, I think... Wow, I can see Nan. I can see Nan. Of course, of course she would. Mother and daughter, of course. And their bond is just, it was, a, it's growing up. It was a blessing to be a part of. And now it's, it's a treasure to always have that part of me here and of them here. So we've done all that. So that was really, really great. And, um, and now I'm back from all of that. Um, I have a family holiday coming up in a couple of, couple of weeks time as well and nieces and nephews and my brother and my sister and all are going on that and with my mum and that's going to be incredible and I'm really really looking forward to that but it's important to take time out it's important to take time out and I'm never one to run away from anything but I was going through a time in my life which I was really finding really really tough really really difficult and do you know I just didn't I just wanted to take myself out of that situation and do you know what I think that's what it's taught me, that it's okay to take time to kind of take a rain check for yourself. It's not a weakness. It's not a weakness at all. And you know what? At the time I felt with work and everything like that, taking so much time out, using leave and things like that. And there was people's opinions. There really was, unfortunately. People were always quick to do that, aren't they? And I thought to myself, do you know what? Is this right? Is it right to do this? Especially the Pathos holiday um, in Cyprus was incredible. Um, and that was that was that was a planned sort of break. Um, but the Lanzarote one of taking time out, so it wasn't, it was very last minute. I thought to myself, is this the right thing? Why Lanzarote? That was my, the, the last place my nan holidayed. So um, it was really great to bring that connection to life almost. It really, really was. Um, and yeah, it really, really was. So I'm back. Never going to go away. Of course it's not. But I've taken time to kind of concentrate on me. Take some time just to switch off from absolutely everything, away from work, away from the different comments and things which you get on the channel, and, and some, most are absolutely amazing, most are. Um, but it's really important, I think, that from any, every situation, I think that we can always learn something. Um, now, of course, in the darkest of times, I truly do believe that there is light, but we can't always see it at first. It can take weeks, years, months after. And sometimes when we never see that for decades after, and then it just hits us to think that actually you've learned something from that or something's happened, what's made you strong, because I do truly believe that these things make us stronger. So my message is that it's OK to take time to step back and to breathe. And do you know what? One of the best things I've done is just to come away from the channel completely for a short time to kind of almost put the phone down. So I have a real top phone, which I absolutely love. I treated myself to this. So it's the Galaxy Z. So I paid, uh, I think, I think it was £1,500 around that. I know I must be absolutely crazy. I barely use it. But you know what? Since I've had this, when you're glued to so much sort of messages and, um, and Facebook Messenger and all this, that and the other with family and goodness knows what. Do you know what? When you just put this aside, that gives you so much more headspace. So I've done that. Never ever touched it throughout my holiday, or my holidays rather. And you know what? For a time, it was just lovely just to be able to breathe and switch off. So everybody who knows me knows that I'm not particularly great with messaging back and things like that anyway. But it was really great to even switch that off even less. So I am by no means a person who is stuck on their phone all the time. And for some people, that's fine. That's not a problem at all. But there is a time where you have to kind of switch off and you have to kind of take a rein back from it because it does affect your mental health. It does. When you're concentrating on, do I look, do I look in a certain way? Or for example, um, when we're reviewing products and we're talking about hair and appearance and things like this and one thing or another in skincare, as men, it's very, very easy to get wrapped up in that we must look and act in a certain way. When actually we are individuals, there is only one of us ever, only one of us ever. So who cares if your hair isn't quite right or if it isn't the thickest or if it isn't styled the right way or if you've got something about your skin which is getting you down a bit. You are only one. So therefore, I do try and tell myself that that as long as I'm happy, as long as I'm happy the way I look and the way I feel, then 
that is the ultimate goal. So whoever watches this, take a moment to really kind of switch off from things when you can, because that's really vitally important. And be happy who you are. Take time to enjoy who you are and take time to enjoy those who mean the most to you in this life. And you know what? Sometimes if you can't get something right in life or if you can't look the way you want to or perhaps something's getting at you, you've got something about you, say, for example, you're losing some hair or perhaps that you've got something wrong, which is giving you some hair loss or perhaps your skin, you've perhaps got breakouts or perhaps that you're not necessarily happy with one thing or another. Sometimes just taking time away from things can actually rectify those issues, but it can actually give you a whole new lease of confidence to think that actually you are you and you need to embrace that because the most important thing in this life is those around you and you. So your mental health is very, very important. So sometimes when you're watching something all the time, and I don't necessarily mean my channel, but when you're fixating yourself on my hair must be a certain thickness or is my hairline okay or do I have lines or frown lines or, or sort of acne scars or, or sort of one thing or another, those sort of skin complaints and things, that actually you are you, that whole wonderful sort of collection of things which make you at that table is to be celebrated. So give yourself that kind of pat on the back, take time away from things when you can, and just enjoy and be who you are and enjoy life in that very moment which you can. And if you can help other people out, please do so. Absolutely incredible. The whole moral of this and with my grandmother as well is, you know what, enjoy life now. No one is promised to tomorrow. Enjoy now. Don't keep putting things off. Enjoy it. If you can take time from work and you can go on a spontaneous holiday or with your, your loved ones, your best friends, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, do it. Because this life is so, so precious and it's to grab and it's to really run with and it's to enjoy. There is such a power from turning off the busy hustle and bustle of life, but I know we all can't do that. Just putting the phone down is a start. The next, making time for you and those who mean the most to you. Hugely, hugely important. Now, these things, these huge things in our lives don't just go away, and the loss of somebody will never ever go away. I know that, I struggle each day. But little by little, we think of things which get us through, and yet then we have a day which knocks us back down and you're crying most of the day. But do you know what? Isn't that what makes life so precious that we just don't know when it ever is going to come to an end? And I think that's where I'm going to end this. I'm back. There'll be loads of stuff coming up. I know this is a really deep conversation I jumped into. I got the opportunity to have some amazing holidays, done a little bit of travelling. I say a little bit, quite a lot. And it was incredible. And I've done it with the people who mean the world to me. And in homage, my man up above was watching over us the whole time. How wonderful when you put it that way. Thanks very, very much for joining me. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you for being there. And I had a couple of people waiting for me to come back to the channel. So absolutely amazing. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. And to all my subscribers, because it's really jumped up since I've been away. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, and that will be quite soon, I will be seeing you then. Bye-bye. God bless. And see you then. Bye now.